So ultimately, we would like to see this whole school system mm-hmm. uh, get back to an approach that really meets the needs of students, mm-hmm. really listens to them, really lets them help make decisions about their own education and their life. Yep. And this seems to be on the increase. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the things that was interesting is when the pandemic came along, all of a sudden, people had to figure out, wait, what how, What are we going to do? And they kind of grabbed some of the models that we had set up. Mm-hmm. That is the distance learning, the micro schools. Uh, a lot of this was there for them. The models were there. We'd been creating them over 30 years time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so I think that 2 billion people around the world all of a sudden realized they weren't necessarily beholden to go to that local assigned school. That's right, yeah. This is revolutionary. This may be the education revolution in itself. And it's something that's changing over time. It doesn't happen instantly, but all of a sudden people everywhere came to know, oh, wait, I have choices. And so that'll be very interesting to see where it goes. Yeah, yeah. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.